Hello, and thank you so very much for joining me tonight. Before we get into our session, let's first just take a moment and thank our sponsor for this video, which is Bright Sellers. Bright Sellers is an awesome wine subscription service that delivers some very tasty and a nice variety of wines right to your door. Bright Sellers matches you to wines from all over the world curated to your palate by you going onto their website and taking a fun little quiz so that they can get an idea of what your flavor palette might be. I personally love that Bright Sellers focuses on finding unique, smaller vineyards to work with from all over the world. And with hundreds of private label wines, you'll be able to try a new wine you've never tasted before. It's so convenient how this gets shipped directly to you. And I don't know about you, right? But I feel very overwhelmed whenever I'm looking to bring a bottle of wine for a friend's gathering or if I just want to have some for myself with dinner or if I want to make a wine sort of cocktail, which is kind of my favorite way to have them. Instead of wasting money on something that I end up finding out that I don't like because I have to go strictly off the bottle, because of the flavor palette quiz that they have you take, they send you stuff that's good. They send you stuff that you like, that matches up. I have not received a single bottle that didn't live up to this uh, high standard that they have. Every single thing I've ever received from Bright Sellers has been a hit for sure. Today, I decided to use the Post Haste Savon Blanc which I'm probably pronouncing. It has lime, lemon, green apple, and lemongrass notes. And I ended up making like a little wine cocktail with this. I used some passion fruit, um, frozen like fruit cubes that they have at the grocery store, some extra ice, a little bit of the white wine, and then I topped it off with a strawberry soda and it was really good. I wish I had some mint or some kind of herb to put in it, but it was absolutely delicious. And later that evening, I tried the, oh my gosh, Ladro de, de Uva. <laughs> I'm so sorry. An absolutely delicious red wine that has notes of cherry, blackberry, clove, and cinnamon. And we just had this, my boyfriend and I just had this together while we had some takeout food because we we're both feeling really lazy and we just wanted to have a little home date night with a glass of wine and a movie and... We watched House of Gucci <laughs> and just had our wine and ate some, some food. It was really, really lovely. I absolutely loved both of these. Even my boyfriend who doesn't really drink wine really enjoyed the red. I love that each of these wine boxes comes with a wine education card or a variety of wine education cards for each bottle. That's how I can tell you what notes there are and it's really fun to like read through them and then also get ideas for maybe what you could pair them with if you you know, enjoy planning a meal around potentially what wine you have or choose from the selection that you get what might go best with your dinner tonight. They teach you things like how to store and open your wine and so that it could stay tasting fresh and last longer. And I also love how Bright Cellars is sustainable. They offer wines beyond your typical grocery store wine, including the sustainable varieties and biodynamic wines. The packaging is also completely sustainable, plastic free, and a small carbon footprint, easy to recycle. Bright Sellers is giving my followers 50% off their first six bottle box. That's six bottles for just $53. Really great value here. Follow the link to take the quiz and get started today. If you know some people who love wine, this is such a great gift. I actually got this for my in-laws before and it was a big hit. And if you're new to wine, then this is an even better fit because it really is so helpful in choosing things for you that really do fit the flavor palette that you have, your personal taste preferences. Thank you so very much to Bright Sellers for sponsoring this video and thank you very much to my subscribers, my viewers. You truly make this possible. Without you, I would not be able to make the content that I want to and invest in the equipment that I want to and I also just, you know, live and pay my bills and <laughs> feed myself and all of that as well. So I just want you to know how much I value your support here and um, just the wonderful energy that you bring. I just thank you, thank you. I can't thank you enough. And now let's get into our session. Hello, and thank you so very much for joining me tonight. I go by Luna Neat, and what I'm creating for you today could simply be a relaxing video. 
hopefully, something for you to introduce, some opportunities for self-reflection, some thoughts to chew on. That's all. Let's see how you feel about it. And if you're open to the concept of energy work by proxy, it's really what I'm about. I genuinely study and practice this in my personal life. I teach this as well, so I really do just find so much empowerment and tools, you know, for each person. Of course, everybody resonates with things differently, but I found so many tools for my own journey, my own healing, my own path, which is, of course, ever unfolding as well and ever truly done, right? But if you'd like, you can use this as an energy work by proxy session for yourself. What we're going to be focused on is the spine and the neck, but, you know, the kind of, the spine, we'll say, as this point of steps, foundation, a stairway, ascension, as this point of nexus between heaven and earth, or pattern and matter, as this point of rotation and expansion and witnessing and turning and looking all around us, as our support, as our confidence, and as we carry our heads high and hold ourselves high. So, we're going to set an intention to work with these themes. I hope that you enjoy, and we'll get into our session. Excuse me. On behalf of the highest and greatest good and in perfect comfort, perfect alignment. Our intention today is to connect with the nexus point of the spine, the stairwell of the spine, the lighthouse in a sense. Um, maybe not the light itself, right? But like the structure of the lighthouse, of grounding, of our support, our feeling of knowing that we are supported. And if we haven't felt that way before, learning how to create that for ourselves, you know, and perhaps even like parent ourselves if, if necessary, just as an example. Supporting our confidence, supporting how we carry ourselves, our actions, how we express ourselves, and our authenticity as shown through our actions. You know, there's the little, like, thing, the videos you might see online, like, oh, my dad didn't want cats, and the video's like, just like, oh, you know, we can say, our words can be both you know, this like high vibrational, but like our actions align to that, or they can be almost negative, but our actions show like love and support, right? So just kind of connecting with that, making sure that that authenticity is shining through our actions and basing maybe perhaps a little more of how we feel about ourselves over what we can control through our actions. That confidence as well, that stacked supported energy to hold yourself high, hold yourself up in the world, let us see what you have to offer, you know, stand in your authenticity, do not bow down, right? These kind of concepts, focusing on how whole, how powerful, how connected you feel to matter and pattern and you as this beautiful child, sweet one here of divine forces. And if you have your own intention that you would like to send, please just send it in to this light, to this warmth to this space, this connection to ether, this space that transcends, the space that, you know, exists but sort of doesn't. <laughs> I don't know, I know we always say here, right, like to listen with your heart, of course, but just send in your wish 
declare your will if I've missed out on anything here. And of course, the intention is always about all that is right for you, right? Never pushy, never, never harsh, never too much, just exactly what is right for your overall well-being. Okay, thank you. Okay, we're going to begin with these scissors. They have almost like a serpent pattern to them. And we're going to, not as if we're trimming near the spine, I certainly don't want to, that's not my intention, but almost as if there's a thicket or a, um, uh, what's the best way? Like a, like a blockage. So when I'm visualizing here, it's almost like I'm picturing an egg. Like maybe a snake egg or, or something, or, or it could be any egg or a seed for that matter. Please choose what feels best to you. But around it, perhaps there might be a root ball or a limitation or a thick brush that is just not like allowing access to growth, perhaps. So my first intention is to trim around the space of the root or the earth connection, just so we can really start to put out our roots or to you know unfurl from our shell again please use what visualization or words feel best to you and we're going to focus on connecting here and we're just going to focus down around just little trimming like trimming herbs around this area, just clearing, pulling a little, any obstruction, and this obstruction can be fear, this obstruction can be insecurity, this can be a false or a, um, a facade of, of limitation, and we're just pulling, just clearing the way, clearing those, that root ball or root rod or anything, you know, for the gardeners out there. Okay, and on a similar connection, you want to focus not exactly on the crown, not exactly on the third eye, but almost in the middle. Focusing here on a similar approach, but again, like releasing any blockage, any false ceiling, any false limitation of how divine you are, how one might connect with whatever the heck the divine is, like things like that. So I'm just gonna focus around, clearing any obstruction, any overgrowth any restriction on how you connect with how perfect and amazing you are and that you are this, again, forgive if you don't like it, but I, I love it, it feels very comforting to me this child of divine forces you channel energy, you channel intentions free up a little looseness here, free up that space for these messages to come through, for this clarity. anymore. They just kind of need to like let the wind carry them. Let it all be repurposed. And just so we can expand and grow and hatch our eggs. <laughs> okay. I'm going to be using these salt pieces which are some of my favorite and most simple tools to use starting at the base of the spine, 
starting at the tailbone and working through up the body just clearing these steps this channel this passageway this portal this tunnel All the way through the neck and up to the back of the spine, like the base of the skull. Just clearing that salt, cleansing, getting in all the nooks, all the, all the little corners, all the little cobwebs. banded serpentine sort of stone and you can even see how it's like reflective the silver so I'm gonna place this focusing at the tailbone around just down below your feet <clears throat> right between your feet basically and then I have this aquamarine which also has a similar well <laughs> in my mind similar like these steps Like these little steps. <laughs> so we're gonna focus down through around. So you can walk down, you can walk up these stairs, you can channel through and just kind of connect. Building your own base, connecting with your own confidence and actions, holding your head high. The beautiful divine creature that you are and moving through and through and through just as if we have a lantern with us a glow illuminating this stairwell this ladder Like a torch here, I have this sacred pine. smoke through this chamber through this stairwell <laughs> this passageway this point of connection this nexus point this tars field here to support your ability to restructure yourself or um, uh, what I mean is through feeling supported around the 
face all the way up through this beautiful ivory looking, ivory colored, like marble channel or maybe it's super dark, maybe it's mahogany or obsidian whatever you connect with just channeling through so need some very high yummy vibes again another blessing, some sacred cobalt right into the base of the spine, the lower quadrant, or the lower portion, the lower third of the spine here, channeling through waves of supportive energy to remind you that you are supported. I know sometimes, like, please, I know you can feel the empathy here. I can truly relate to not feeling supported by, you know, your family or uh, the cards you were dealt, that kind of thing. But ultimately, as we grow, as we mature and we develop, I learned that my support comes from me. And as much as I love people, <laughs> this is really where it comes from, you know, that I take care of myself or I look out for me or... And maybe that's just me, maybe that's just what I need, but if any of you are in the boat of well, I didn't know my parents, or I never got what I needed, or childhood was this real struggle there just channeling through to let you know that of course this stability comes from you and I know that can feel like a lot of pressure too, so we want to focus on it not being pressured being an empowerment the piece of your foundation that was there all along we just kind of had to focus on it, kind of had to experience it kind of had to fall in love with it and just fortifying how you feel supported knowing that here in this earthly experience is every resource every open door, every closed door that you might need, every lesson, every tool every piece of information, every piece of inspiration, everything at all here and your spine holds you up and please do not mean to be ableist you know, everyone has different bodies regardless of how upright you might feel, how perfect your posture we're focusing here on the sort of energetic correspondence of this holding you up and being the base how you connect with earth the body Moving up a little higher here to the middle portion Sort of near the solar plexus area, we could say Channeling through, focusing on your actions Your actions and their alignment to what's important to you, to what's meaningful To how you create yourself, how you create your experiences, how you show up, how you react to the things that maybe you didn't want to experience the alignment the, again, authenticity I'm seeing like watercolor paints, like alcohol inks blacks, and golds, and peachy pastels focusing on your truth, your confidence Fortifying link by link vertebrae, fight by vertebrae, step by step Up and up and up and up as we come to the shoulders and the neck Just want to move down the shoulders and release any burden 
any weight pulling it off anything karmic that you did not need to commit to anything that does not belong to you any weight you feel you have to bear that really isn't, again, is another facade or like that just isn't the case just releasing that down feel it glide off your arms glide off your fingertips turn your head if you're able or just visualize turning your head and focus on your ability to change perspective your ability to see from all sides and to hold your head up high and again, forgive me, I don't mean to be it's not a body thing, but to hold yourself up high to hold yourself with confidence to hold yourself in your truth to not succumb, to not bow down to not lessen yourself we're just channeling through really gently of your dualistic nature of your polar currents come and meet in the middle we're going to take a little anointment okay, so we're going to anoint and anoint Snake uh, animal themed oil. Okay, so again, focusing at the root. I'm not specifically trying to like raise Kundalini here, anything highly specific. It's more of the, of what this means to you, of course, right? This can be waves, this can be the serpents, this could be the fluid just of the the energetic fluid of the spine moving, right? So, but we're moving, guiding these dualistic forces up, up, up to meet in the center of your mind to activate to feel whole, to know and just, oh, like so beautifully stable so beautifully supported and again, up black one, a white one, and meeting in the middle. And again, from the base, up, up, crossing over to meet as your center line through the hemispheres, your dualistic qualities, your yin, your yang, your out, your in, <laughs> or your in, I should say your contemplation, your expression, your spirit, your matter, meeting together. And I'm just going to use the remaining anointment that I have on my hands 
moving through. Just supporting you. You know, you don't have to let them all go. Leave that up to your higher self. Share some light to just move through this vessel, this chamber, this field. Right, and as the eyes are the window to the soul, we're going to be focused. Just opening all the windows, even as you close your eyes. And just let the Breeze come through the fresh air, the new perspective, the information, you know, the shifting thoughts. or stairwell, this gorgeous reverb, reverb, this gorgeous echo. It's simply gorgeous, simply ethereal. Playing through the halls of your passageway of ascension, of development. Your soul. And how this this point of heaven and earth right here inside you, around you, of you. Right. I just want to thank you so, so, so very much for allowing me to share a little piece of your path tonight and of course for being such a significant part of mine. Truly, eternally, ever, always, so very grateful to you. From the very bottom of my heart, I bow to the divine, and you, and I, and to this very beautiful and interesting connection that we share. So very much love to you, sweet one, and namaste.